What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Bush. Right, I've been my mum's this morning, Monday morning. I didn't have my baking sandwich, just had a cup of. I wasn't that hungry this morning and it's now half past 11. Just got home, um, but while I was at my mum's I was thinking, what can be my next video? You know, and you just can't think of anything. And I says, oh, from here I might have a walk down to Holtz, it's a local butchers. Um, and get a Savoy dip sandwich. What a Savoy dip is, is this. You get Savoy sausage, um, paste pudding, stuffing, and you also can have mustard and the dip the top of the bun in gravy. But I don't get my bun dipped and I don't get mustard. So this is basically Savoy sausage, paste pudding, and stuffing. I'll see if I can take the top off just because these are like hot sandwiches um so it's went a bit mushy on the way home see if i can open it for you can you see in there jam packed it is so i'm gonna half this guys so i thought i'm gonna go down the halls get this because i've mentioned it before on my channel um i'm not sure if this is just like up north you get these but loads of butchers up here do them i've just halved it there that's a better look there See the sausage, paste pudding and stuffing. Really nice guys. And I thought I'm gonna go home and do myself a little video, catch up with you guys, tell you all about me weekend away. So I'm just gonna take a bite because I'm hungry now. So this is like brunch we'll say because it's half 11 in the morning. Mmm. I'm sorry. I'm huddled in the corner of my living room. If you could see the state of my living room, you would be disgusted. <laughs> oh, everything's just all over the place. So I've sat myself here, guys. I can't even get moved on my table. There's just stuff everywhere. Mm. So that's why. You can't see me food because I'm not on my normal table. Mm. I haven't had one of these for ages. And I thought, oh, I'll do it in peace. Mm. Just got some orange. You'll hear the dogs, dogs, dogs tippy toeing around because they're like Savaloys. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't know if you all you know where I went, but. Where we ended up going was York. We went on Friday um, about two o'clock. We left in the afternoon. Um, I told Ellis, I told the kids' as teachers that Ellis would be picking them up from school. Because obviously we were gone by the time the kids finished school. Um, got on the train. We had a few, we took some um, little cans of strawberry um, copperberg and also a couple of bottles of Prosecco. Not for the train, like just for when we get to a room and stuff. Um, only took an hour on the train, not an hour and a half. It seemed like it went by like that on the train. You, you got the first class uh, seats on the train. <laughs> Upgraded were. <laughs> the weather was tip top, it was really warm. Perfect for just walking around, looking at all the shops. Oh, it was just beautiful, guys. So we got the hotel, lovely, quirky. Like um, it was like, all every room's different. It was like a really old-fashioned hotel. It was like, um, rustic and like Frenchy kind of vibes. I was getting lovely high ceilings. The decor was beautiful, really quirky. Um, 
it's a lovely quaint little town like uh, York it's, I would love to live there it's beautiful so we basically checked in dropped our bags off and, and we sort of were already dressed for like if we went out we could have like stayed out all night which we did do so anyways we went out um, but by the time that time it was like the train was actually half three we got there for half four so we'll just say it was about five six o'clock as we started heading towards the town and the shops were like sort of closing but we're going out just for a few little drinks and um, Kenny had booked were in at the Tomahawk Steakhouse that was delicious guys he didn't tell me where we were going until we actually got there for our meal I knew I was going for a meal that night uh, oh I got a fillet steak came with onion rings and a lovely like seasoned chips were lush um, and my starter was beautiful as well it was like a uh, halloumi and chorizo skewers oh, and it had like oh, it was like pickled pickled something over it I don't think it was cabbage anyways oh it was beautiful excuse me and then Kenny got the um what they call porterhouse steak where you get the half sirloin and half fillet is it uh, that was that looks huge his and his come with chips and um onion rings as well what did he get to start yeah i cannot remember what he got to start anyway so we had a meal and then we just went into this place it's literally next door to um tomahawk it was like called the cellar i think or the cellars and when you go you go downstairs and you literally like it's like the ceilings like domed like as if you're in like a proper wine cellar lovely have fairy lights all over that's the thing about your all the shops the windows look so pretty they've all got lovely fairy lights in the window but it's absolutely gorgeous at christmas and on our travels like when we're having a quick look around on the first night like i say everything was shutting up but we're like we're just sort of getting my bearings where to go for the saturday they had a christmas shop it's open all year round <gasps> and we looked in the window oh it was so cute oh that street was brilliant uh, I says to Kenny, we'll have to get a Christmas ornament from there. Like, the next day. So we just had a few drinks in a few different bars. Went to the Ivy. Hmm. What's that outside the Ivy? It's so pretty, the Ivy building. It's like on the corner, but it's got loads of lovely flowers around the doorway. It looks so pretty. Kenny didn't believe us that... Um, it was like I don't know if it still is but remember years ago like when Kate Moss and everyone used to like big pictures outside the ivy like having like drinks or a meal or something I see it's oh it's like a celebrity hotspot the ivy he went yeah yeah I think you're just talking rubbish <laughs> he uh, probably wouldn't know back then though when Kate Moss was trendy <laughs> he would have just probably been a teeny bubba <laughs> so yeah we just had a few drinks then went back to a hotel and then the next day, well, I mind the hotel, it was beautiful, the room, the bed was lovely. Feather uh, pillows, feather duvet, but I don't like feather pillows. Uh, and you know, and you just can't sleep without your pillow. I have like, my pillows, one of them. Dunla pillows, it's like the latex, the lovely, it's like proper bouncy. Uh, and I can't like go to sleep without my pillow. So I was constantly trying to get comfy with that pillow. I was awake a million times through the night we actually woke up at five o'clock in the morning uh, it was still pitch black outside and i says god kenny what time is it he went it's only five o'clock i went god i could just get up now so i think it was just the excitement so then we got up had our breakfast it was the same in the hotel he like went downstairs that was called the ivy as well but i think it was just the name of the restaurant I don't think it had nothing to do with the proper ivy. Um, Kenny got a full English breakfast. I got eggs benedict. Oh, I love that. It was beautiful. The, the bacon was so thick. But the restaurant of the hotel that was downstairs is, was like a really, like quite a good restaurant. Um, we never actually ate apart from my breakfast in there because we like to go like in the town centre. It was only like 10 minutes along the road. It was a nice walk to the town centre. So we had our breakfast and then set off for the day again and um, this time i just had shop shop shopping in my head because i wanted i mean loads of birthday money guys 
I got ru absolutely ruined with lovely presents, loads of money. Honestly, I've done so well on, for my 40th birthday. So first shop I went was spotted as we were there, on, like having a look around on the Friday, was flannels. Well, Kenny got us these earrings. Vivian Westwood, so dinky, I love the teeny dinky ones. Um, and I says to him, I oh, will quite fancy the necklace to match. And he went, Heather, I was looking at that necklace when I was buying your earrings and I've never ever seen you wear a necklace. So I thought, nah, I don't want to be having to take stuff back. Or I say, like for me to say, what you bought that for? Not that I would say that, but he was just scared to buy it. And he says, I'm going to buy you that then. So went into flannels, went for this straight away. Even though I had like a wad of cash myself to spend, like all my birthday money, um, he still bought them for us. He says, no, no, I want to buy you that because I wanted to buy it, but I wasn't sure if you would have liked it. So we bought the lovely necklace to match, guys. And the lovely, just little dinky ones, not like right in your face. So then while we were in flannels, um, I was just looking around. It's like a, a designer shop, if you don't know. Um, so I spotted these. Well, I've got, I'm actually wearing them. I'm going to show you anyway all the, all the gifts and things I've bought. But I'll quickly just take these off. Show you my new trainers. And then cool. Machino. Love them. So, so comfortable. So I bought myself that. Oh, while I'm here, I may as well get me back. Two seconds. I know I should be mainly eating guys but this is just a quick little catch up videos because I haven't done a video since Thursday was it? I'll go and get me a little bag what I bought as well. Oh. So then this is the little bag I bought. <gasps> Isn't it lovely? It's like it, you can use it as a purse or a bag. So nice love it fits me phone and in my money as you know i only like carrying my phone in my money in my bag so that goes just to close over there like that coolio so the first shop <laughs> took a good chunk of money off his but anyways i loved them um so i thought oh i'm having them because usually i mean other birthdays i mean i don't make half as much as i made on my 40th um but usually if I make money on my birthday it just dwindles away on nothing like I'll just buy bits and bobs in the shops and that and it just goes on nothing so this year I've literally spent all my money on me <laughs> so from there we're just shopping there's loads of little streets cutting off each street so we're just like getting my bearings, like trying to find different shops. And then I found a Zara, where our Zara closed ages ago. So I got myself two tops in there. I says, oh, check if there's a Primark, because how are you? You have to have a look in Primark, don't you? <laughs> there was a Primark. <laughs> so I went in there, like, I love the cosy leggings. They're like fleece lined inside and they're like quite thick. They're nice. They're not the chatty ones what Primark's known for. They're called cosy leggings. They're lovely. They've got like a. They're not like wet look or anything. They've just got like a nice sheen to them. Um, but the fleece line inside, they're so white warm for the winter. So I got like five pairs of them. Um, I got two long cardigans, two jumpers. I got some more nail polish. Um, the like natural colours. It's like a coffee, a cream. You no, know, like them kind of colours. Um. I got a couple of um, pressed powders, makeup. Um, I think is that it in Primark? Oh, I just got the bands. Some I needed to buy them. Some tracksuit bottoms, new ones for the PE kits. Hmm. You are probably seeing eat your sandwich, man. Shut up. Uh huh. And then um, we found it like a market and we found this stall guys. I have to show you, I'm going to be up and down all the way through this video. It was like a, a stall with loads of, do you know, the horns, like what Vikings used as cups. 
I go and get a choice. That's all I'm getting up for because I'm going to show you a little clip of everything anyway later, later on at the end. It come with a stand, the real one. This actually holds a pint, she said. So Kenny and we love Vikings, don't we, this uh, program. So I says, get one, you may as well get one because he's always wanted one. <laughs> so he thinks he's Ragnar. <laughs> so he can have his beer in that now. Put that down there. But you like had to buy the stand, which was separate, um, because you're not just going to sit with that in your hand all night, are you? So yeah, he got that, and he got himself a couple of more, like you know, the leather uh, bangles, because he's loving them at the minute. He's seen Tom Hardy wearing wearing them, um, and I got him a special one for his birthday with Oscar and Spencer on. Um, but he wanted a couple more. Thinks he thinks he's manly like Tom Hardy. <laughs> Yeah, so went round the markets and while we were going round the markets we seen this bar, it was down like, it was like an alley but it was such a cute little street, it was like a Harry Potter street, you know when they go uh, looking for the, uh, I was going to say was that the ones, what they're called, is that what they're called, wand? Anyways it looked like that kind of street and we seen like a big sign saying Valhalla and Kenny went ooh look Vikings, so we walked down, oh the bar was beautiful guys inside they had like fur throws over all the chairs like them little um it's like a skull with horns but like an animal kind of skull i don't know what they're called but the deck all was just brilliant i went we we'll have to go in there kenny so we had a couple of drinks in there oh it was brilliant we ended up going back to that bar later on and then we went to this fantastic burger place oh, what i loved about it we were sat right they had a massive window in the restaurant and you could just sit and watch the chefs cook. They had just meat all over pulled pork. They were doing like burger patties, you know, like a proper real meat place. And the burger I got, you'll see at the end, because I've done a little vlog, guys. It's not loads, but like I have vlogged a little bit for you. Watch the size of the burger, the pulled pork. Mine was a beef patty, a buttermilk chicken, and I also added pulled pork on mine. Oh, and the fries were gorgeous. They were like, um, it said barbecue, but they had Cajun on. Um, so it must just been their style fries. And Kenny doesn't usually like Cajun on his fries, but even he loved them. They were beautiful. So after that, because I wanted to go to York's, got like a designer outlet place, which was like 20 minutes from where we were. So we just got a taxi. You could get buses, but I said, we'll just not mess on with buses because we don't know which one. Um, so we just got a taxi there. Because I thought, oh, like you hear people every year going to York designer outlet and come back with bags and bags of designer clothes. Well, I wasn't one bit impressed, guys. It was like all like the Ugg shop because I wanted to go there for the Ugg slippers. Kenny had bought us some Uggs. Yeah, they are here. Just the classic ones. And I says, if I had known we're going to York, there's an Ugg place there. We could probably got them cheaper. But anyways, they didn't have them ones. Like I say, it's like all like old stock, and like they'll just have certain sizes of a certain book. There's loads of different colours. Like, well, it's an outlet place, isn't it? Where I thought it was just going to be designer shops, but cheaper, which it is, but it's like old stock. Um, they haven't got like a selection of sizes. It's just like the odd one here and there. And I would literally walk around the whole thing. Did I buy anything there? No, we just went in this little gadget shop and bought the boys. I'll show you, it's actually here. The, the Pennywise Mad, so cup. <laughs> And we've got them at the market um, this lady was selling pillows with all different like movie themed pictures on and there was a pennywise holding a balloon 
a scary one so we've got them a little pillow for the bed and just a little key ring that's all we bought in that outlet for the kids pardon me it was absolutely rubbish so waste of 20 pound 10 pound there 10 pound back just to walk around so um the actual york proper shopping center is much better than the outlet i got much more things <clears throat> i then went into um when we got back i quickly went into river island got some nice new boots and some lovely slippers because like i see the ug shop didn't have them slippers i want the ones with the you know the elastic around the heel what's got ug on the in demand them that in the uh, no way's got them because i quickly nipped to the town on the way home to see if um shoe didn't have them they're getting them in in three weeks time in the other shop only had a size seven which is too big for me so i'm going to buy myself those when they come back in stock but yeah, I bought some slippers in River Island, they're lovely. So then, we went to back to a hotel, dropped all the bags off, had a quick freshen up. And then went back out, um, just for a few drinks really. And uh, no one you just tired when you've been walking around all day and we had like, we didn't drink loads on the um, Friday night we just really had like a relaxed drink because after our meal we were like knowing you feel full after your meal but anyways we went back to that Valhalla bar and maybe it's two more bars and I went you know we've got two bottles of Prosecco in the um, hotel room and the hotel had a lovely lovely little quaint bar downstairs I said we should just go back have a couple of drinks in the hotel bar and then go up in my room I just want to chill all shopped out I've already had an amazing time and on the way home we knew there was a kebab shop on the on the street going ho on the going back to the hotel <coughs> so i says why don't we just get a kebab delivered he went oh well i'll just walk for it i'll just go along so i went upstairs got me uh coral blush jammies on they were good then when i got them off my mum. i got loads of like um like merchy kind of stuff she got as a um chopping board <laughs> is it there oh it is what's got me earrings and that on top i'll show you as um Some coasters, me jamas. She got some steak knives, because uh, obviously I've been wanting to buy steak knives. I says, God, this is brilliant, this. Loads of merch. <laughs> so we just chilled. Had a kebab. Couldn't even finish it because we weren't really hungry, we were just being piglets really. Because I was still full of that massive burger. Um, so we literally left half a kebab each. Mind there were big kebabs there. Um, and then we literally, what, the, what I think, um, what was on? I think it was Fantastic Four was on the TV. So we were, we were like that, watching it. I said, hey, Kenny, I can't keep my eyes open. We literally just turned the telly off and went to sleep. <laughs> was amazing it was just a lovely relaxed chilled exciting time york is just absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful place then the next morning we had our breakfast again I, we both had the same for our breakfast went upstairs ordered a taxi to take her to the station um booked the train tickets for 12 o'clock and then we got um back in newcastle for about one but then i wanted to have a quick look around newcastle for them ug slippers but they didn't have any and then we got home i just picked her up from the um metro the kids were so excited to see where the dogs were going crazy 
um, but bless Ellis, uh, they wanted like a camp out bringing all the mattresses downstairs and all camp out so on the Friday when Ellis picked them up he took them to like I think it was Heron, that's the one they sell loads of sweets in Heron got them loads of sweets, popcorn, everything, it was, he showed us a picture, it was huge, like loads of like stash of sweets and then he got like the mattresses down, they all slept down here and then on the Saturday, bless him, he took them to um, Jump 360, it's like a big massive like inflatable place um, and then he took them for a McDonald's after that, bless him, so them had super fun with their brother uh, and he did spend Saturday to jump off this high thing, I mean you're landing on like an inflatable, you can't hurt yourself I was super scared to jump off he went I'll give you three pound if you jump off that and then he finally jumped off so then he bought him something on his playstation for three pound like on a game or something but yeah them had a super duper time I said oh you're a lush big brother Ellis keeping them amused I mean because I bet you a lot of big brothers would have just like watched them in the house and left it at that but like he took them out and had fun with them was nice getting home when we got home Kenny straight away went upstairs and fitted his flooring his bedrooms coming along Kangy because he wanted to do it on the um, Thursday night but he had been so busy in the room all that week I says you've barely seen the kids Ken and we're going away tomorrow so just have like tonight off before we like went to on the Friday so as soon as he come back he fitted his floor it looks beautiful his floor it's super thick So I think after work tonight you'll come in and put the skirting boards on and then build his bed up. But, well I presume he's going to do that. But he wanted to get a finish from before we went away. I went no you need to see the kids. We're going away tomorrow. Because it still wouldn't have been complete so it's pointless just mm. So I've still got a load of catch up on guys on my YouTube. Oh, did you um, go and um, know how I shared the Matt and Emma, the new channel? They're a lovely couple of guys. I'll put it up again on here for you who haven't seen my community post. Matt and Emma they're called. I'll put the picture up. Lovely couple you are, so nice. I love like finding, they're not like new as in you. Um, I don't actually know how long they've been on YouTube, but I've just found them. When I say new, it means I've just found them. Through me mum actually, my mum found them and she said, oh watch these, they're lovely, they're really nice guys, go and check them out. So I need to catch up on the people I watch. I watched um, Park Espias, he gives a nice birthday shout out. Um. I watched Mama Day, she uploaded yesterday. But like I say, I've got loads to carry up, carry on and watch. Oh, English Eats, I watched his Burger King one. Oh, well, I feel like I've told you this. basically what we've done I hope you like this video I was just too busy gassing <laughs> but I thought I'll just have a quick sandwich with you catch up let you know what we've been doing over the weekend like I see I've vlogged a little bit so stay tuned I'll add it on to the end and I'll also show you all my lovely gifts some of them are gifts and some of them are what I've bought myself while we've been in York okay I'm gonna go guys thank you so so much for watching everybody if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads bye everybody <laughs>
ですね。Oh, look at the top windows in there.